Salute Plurium Moon. I hope everybody's doing well. This is Magister Hodges. As you can see, I am not at school today. Miss Hodges is uh, back to not feeling well, and uh, so I'm just being safe and staying here to help her. Uh, so I'm just going to go over what you need to do today and, uh, and, and hopefully give more explanation where the text doesn't quite suffice. I'm going to try and keep this as uh, quick as possible because it's really late and I'm super tired. Uh, cool. So first off, uh, catch up on old assignments. If you have not, includes the pronoun practice quizzes, any of the Sakri Pulley assignments over the story. Um, go back in the planner and find, uh, you know, if there's stuff you haven't done yet, take before you move on, um, complete the stuff we haven't done yet or you haven't done yet. Uh, we're getting towards the end of Sakri Pulley, uh, and over the next couple classes, uh, you'll see a list of things, uh, uh, things put together because we're quickly coming up on our uh, um, portfolio check time. So uh, be looking for the list of work here soon. Uh, you can pretty much know what to expect to be asked to put in there by just going back and looking at the planner and making sure you have everything that we've done there. Um, if you are done with everything, if you are caught up and you're reading along with us, first off, good job and thank you. Um, the first thing you'll want to do today is uh, attempt this Sakri Pulley Chapter 6 listening activity. Um, it is a Google Forms quiz. It look like this. Um, at some point I refresh it so it'll actually pop up. Uh, you'll see a YouTube video up here at the top. Uh, this is me reading uh, parts of um, Chapter 6. It's not all of it all the way through. It's just uh, certain selections. It's a good amount of it, probably about half of it. Um, Give it at least one or two, or give it at least two listens, if not three. And you're going to try and answer these true or false questions. Um, I think there's seven, just seven true or false questions based on this. If after three attempts of uh, listening to it, uh, it, you still don't know, there are certain things you don't know, that's fine. Turn to chapter six in your uh, story packet and read it. Uh, and, you know, see if you can figure it out that way. Um, don't just skip to reading it. Uh, please actually try and, you know, listen to it. I think it might be helpful for you to experience Latin that way. It's something we don't do very often. Um, either way, once you're done with this, uh, you have one attempt at it, so make sure that you think long and hard about each of your answers. Um, once you're done with this, then uh, you'll head on back to this uh, planning document. Uh, and um, to kind of wrap up what we did about, uh, we were talking about the Cursus Honorum in Monday's class, the uh, chain of offices to hold in order to one day become consul. Um, uh, at the very bottom of that page, I ask you to look up and research a notable quaestor, aedile, praetor, or consul. Uh, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, Wikipedia is totally fine. And you can search these guys like uh, there, you know, there are certain stories that are way more popular than others. If you're not even sure where to start, literally going to Google and writing notable Roman quaestors or notable Roman aediles. Um, you're just choosing one person to uh, do a little bit of research on. And by research, I mean, you know, read through their Wikipedia, read through another website, watch a video, uh, just generally learn about something. I know that looks different for everyone. Um, once you have chosen your person, done a little bit of research, you're going to make a post. You're going to follow this Padlet right here. Uh, and you're going to make a post that acts as like a, a profile for your figure. Be creative in stating who they are and what they're like. So, uh, a little spoiler alert about to happen here. So, I've already made one for you about Publius Claudius Polcair, the uh, guy who's the consul in uh, Sacri Poli. Uh, and I just made, you know, here's his name, occupation. He was a consul. I gave the year that he was a consul. His favorite food is chicken. Uh, after reading chapter six, you'll uh, know why. Uh, hopefully, it's not too big of a spoiler. <laughs> Uh, hobbies, ignoring the gods, throwing sacred chickens in the ocean, and leading entire navies to their destruction. Hmm. Uh, maybe tons of spoilers there. Either way. Um, you can make one similar to that. Make yours a little bit more, uh, you know, detailed, a little bit more creative than mine. I just wanted to show the general thing. I included a picture. This is a famous uh, a drawing of Publius Claudius Polcair, and we will definitely be using this uh, for some type of writing prompt later on. Uh, and a link to uh, to the research I did about him, which was just his Wikipedia page. Uh, and once you've done that, uh, you're good to go. Read ahead in Sacri Pulley. Uh, there's only two more chapters after this one. 
and go ahead and read it so that, um, you know, just try and read it once through casually uh, with no work attached to it. Um, though I'll ask you guys to do a little something something for it later, um, but you can just read it on your own for now. Um, and after we finish, uh, you will uh, will then start talking about what the assessment for uh, what the assessment for this book will look like. Uh, basically, if you can read this, you'll be just fine. Uh, if you can't, I suggest you go back and you know practice it. <laughs> Uh, reading it once through, you should be totally fine uh, for any sort of test that we will do on it. Um, but yeah, it's a very short video. Uh, definitely today is the day to catch up if you haven't been able to yet. Uh, and if you are caught up, there's only two uh, generally simple, hopefully kind of fun things for you to do today. Uh, all right. Well, I will be going now. Voila,